crochet. I'm Ari and I run a crochet business and I like to crochet plushies. This is my first like long YouTube video so we're gonna see how it goes. I'm trying to play with the lighting in the background a little bit. It gets really dark in here a lot of the time so I like to use my ring light. I might play around with the setup so just let me know what you guys think. So I think what I'm gonna do for this video is just do like a little like studio vlog kind of thing. I really love watching studio vlogs on YouTube personally. They're really fun for me to watch while I crochet. So I think I'm gonna do kind of a vlog style video. Currently, right now, I am working on kind of a custom order. My mom's friend that goes to our church has requested me to make some like garden, like plant kind of decor decorations. All right, real quick, I gotta go eat dinner. My family's calling me. I will see you guys in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Anyway, what I was saying was my mom's friend, a lady that goes to my church, wanted me to make some like garden decor stuff. Um, so I made this today. This was the first make of today. I figure like for potted plants, you could just like stick it in there and it could be like a little cute bee decor. And then I made several butterflies and I think, I, th I think. I think they came out really cute. There's a blue one, blue and white, um, purple and white. This one's probably my favorite, purple and dark purple, and then pink and dark pink. So I made all of these and a bee. This is going to be for that same person because her birthday was today. So it's kind of going to be like a birthday gift, late birthday gift because we're going to see her at church on Sunday. So what I need to do is I need to make one more bee. So it kind of evens out the amount of butterflies there are because there's a ton. I think that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to try to get some footage of me crocheting once again. Still playing with angles and setup. So if you guys have any tips or anything, just please give me advice. But... I think we're gonna do that. I'm just gonna take you guys through a few days of my life as a crocheter. Yeah, so we'll see. you guys i did get some footage of these and the butterflies in action which i will probably insert somewhere if i can figure that out i'm still working on figuring out all the editing stuff too but i'll try to put it on the screen or something i need to hurry up and finish this beak it's like 6 45 so i think i'm going to finish this bee really fast glue it to the stem and then wrap up for the night because it's pretty late. Okay, so I finished the bee. I think it came out pretty good. So uh, last step, I just have to glue one of these little stems just to the bottom of it. So it just sticks out like the other one. If you guys, any of you want to know it all, I got these from Michaels. They came really long, but I cut them to size when I made flowers. 
this is the last one I have left. I sold the other ones at my last market. So I have this one. Um, I cut this. This was originally this much longer, basically. And so I've been using these short little ones that I have left over to make these for potted plants. So just in case you guys wanted to know, because they're really cute. And I think, oh, I think I'm going to bring some to my market because it's a spring market. It's like April 27th. So it's going to be very springish. I'm going to be bringing lots of spring products. So I think those will be really perfect for like potted plants and stuff for people, people's houses who like to keep a bunch of potted plants. So yeah, I'm going to glue the stem to it now. Okay, so I am waiting for the hot glue gun to heat up. The hot glue gun is so old. Anyway, I need to do some cleanup though probably while I wait because whenever I work in here for more than like an hour, my space gets so messy. So messy. Chickens I made yesterday, I believe. They're sitting here because I still have to glue their eyes in. And that's a diamond painting. All done. Now we have the two bees and the four butterflies. It's my broken stitch marker from earlier. Dude, I swear these break all the time. All the time. Anyway, I'm going to clean now because this is an absolute mess. Okay, so I cleaned up. It's not like the cleanest, I know. But it'll do. It'll do for now. I have that yarn there because I'm going to be working on chickens again tomorrow because I have a few more that I need to make. I have... Let me set you guys up. I have two markets that I've been accepted to that are coming up. I told you guys about the one on April 27th. That's the Spring f Farmer's Market I'm going to be attending. And then there's also one which is a pretty big market in July? June? June? July. I think it's July. Anyway, so it's July 19th through the 21st. It's a whole three-day market. It's for the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I think we're going to be there for quite a few hours each day, but I'm so excited about it, and I need to make so much stock because I've heard that this market is really good, so we'll see, but I need to, like, triple the stock I have right now because I have, like, one bin that's, like, got a decent amount in it, but I need to make so much more. I have a lot of work to do right now. Oh, 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 oh. I just remembered I have two orders I need to pack. I think I'm gonna do those right now. Probably won't film it, it's really dark in here and playing with the angles is kind of hard, but I will probably see you guys tomorrow for just Saturday activities. Anyway, I will go pack those, I'll see you guys. Hey guys, it has been a minute i think i last vlogged a clip on friday it is now monday i kind of took the weekend off but i think i plan to get this vlog out by friday of this upcoming week so currently i'm back at work i need to market prep a lot for my spring market so what i've made so far today i made actually i think i made this oxalotl like yesterday and then i finished well i made this one today I think I need to make like one more yellow one, one more pink one, one more pink one today. I'm not sure if I have enough yarn because I am almost out of this pink and I'm not sure if I have another skein. So I think I need to place a yarn order soon for some other colors that I'm going to need, especially for my market in July, because I don't think that pink is enough to make another one. So I'm going to go check if I have another skein. If not, I'll probably start, I'll probably order some yarn and get to work on something else. I think I'm going to do octopi next. They're not my favorite to make because I can't do much while I, because I have to remember the pattern and I do them in spurts so I don't always remember it. So I have to like rewatch the tutorials and then remember the pattern, which makes me not be able to like watch stuff while I do it, which is kind of annoying, but it's okay. I'll figure it out. So I might get a clip of me crocheting. So yeah, I think that's the plan for now.
very chunky yarn for the ears on this one because I ran out of this like fluffy type yarn I think because I like found that yarn at like a garage sale for some reason it was there and I got it and I've been using it for the fuzzy ears but I have like no idea what brand it is so I think I'm gonna look um Premier's website they have this yarn called little bunny and I'm hoping that maybe they'll have a color that's like this color pink that I can use in the future, but for now, I'll just make one. I just made one like this. It looks a little odd to me, like it looks a little different, but for the most part, I think it's okay, and it'll be good for the market. So now I have all the oxalotls done that I need for my market. I only needed to restock three of them, and now I think I'm going to place a yarn order. I don't really want to because I don't want to spend a bunch of money on yarn because I have so much, but... I'm probably gonna need these colors for upcoming projects in market. I'm gonna go see what I can find. Okay, I just checked Premier's website. Apparently they're out of stock on like a bunch of their colors for some reason. So I'm probably just gonna have to go to Hobby Lobby soon to get the colors that I need because they have a yarn brand that's similar that I usually get, but I kind of wanted to switch over to Parfait Chunky because I kind of like the softness and the feel of that yarn better than the Hobby Lobby brand, but they don't have the colors, so I'll probably just have to go to Hobby Lobby because it's we don't live very far away from one, so it'll be easier and much faster than waiting for them to restock the colors. I think I'm going to go make some Octopi now, so I will show you guys my progress update in a little bit i suppose i'm playing around with angles right now do you like this one or maybe this one or the other one i kind of like one of these two maybe the other one over there but this one's kind of good because it's like straight on i like this one though maybe okay so it is a little while later i made two blue mini octopi and one green one and one purple one so i made all those little ones and i also made a large blue octopus so i'm supposed to make a large pink one too but i can't make that one until i go to hobby lobby and get more yarn so that's really all the octopi i can make right now i just need to do that one the one pink one so i think i did pretty good on those so i think next i I might film, I might film a little video, a little for YouTube shorts. I might do that really fast. And then I think I'm going to start working on like stegosaurs, little mini stegosaurs. I'll update you guys when I have something interesting, interesting to show you. Hey guys, so it is now the next day. I, yes. I'm wearing the same thing as yesterday. I've been home practically all day, so whatever. But as you can see on my bed, I have some bags. I also have a mess of yarn, but I also have some bags because I did go to Hobby Lobby today because I needed more yarn, especially pink yarn because I, w like I said yesterday, I was like out. So let me show you what I got. So we've got this big Joanne's bag or Hobby Lobby bag. I guess I have Joanne's on the brain. And I got quite a lot because I use this type of yarn all the time. It's like Parfait Chunky, but like, it's not. It's Baby Bee Adorable yarn. Some of you might have seen it at Hobby Lobby, but it looks like this. And this is the color Mint Charm. This is a five bulky yarn. I thought it was a four, but I guess it's a five. That kind of makes sense. Anyway, so this is a five bulky yarn. This is Mint Charm, and I believe I got one... of those i tried to get four of every color but not all of them had four in stock because you never know how many of each color is going to be at hobby lobby but i got four of those and then i got some blue this is the color baby's blue i got one two three and four i got sugar plum this purple color three of those there were only three um there was only one yellow which i think I, I have a whole nother skin on my shelf back there so i guess it's okay this color is called bumblebee wings bumblebee wings aren't yellow white anyway 
This is Bumblebee, Bumblebee wings. So I got one of those because that was the only one they had. I got some white. I have quite a bit of white, but I got some extras just in case. It's called Angel. So I got two of those. And I got pink, of course. It's called Pinkaboo. It's a nice paste pink color. I'm running out of them on my desk. And then I got, I haven't used this gray color in Baby B yet. I've used it in Parve Chunky, but this color is called Flannel. And it's this nice gray color and I got one of these because I think I'm going to make some like little sharks for my spring market because it's like spring but they don't have a summer market so it's kind of going to be a combination I guess. So sharks for this. I have like a whole pyramid of yarn let me show you. This is the pyramid of yarn on my desk. I got so much. I need to use all of this because I have way too much yarn as it is right now. also did get one more thing. Two more things. I forgot two. I got these. These are stems for my plant, potted plant decorations that I've made. You might have seen my YouTube short on it. I'm going to have to cut them to size and for flowers because I do plan to make flowers because springtime flowers. And then the last thing isn't all that fun, but I got some wire cutters so that I can cut the stems because I've been using my scissors, but I don't want to ruin my scissors. So I got some of those. And yeah, that's all for the little haul. Okay, so currently it is 5.06. It's pretty late in the day, but I did get a little bit done earlier today. I had some stegosaurus to make. I didn't have to make that many. I made these three. Two, I had to make two green ones and one pink one. So I did those. I also made this little velvet bee. This has got to be my favorite of the many bees I make because I make multiple colors like I have like a whole rainbow collection but this one is definitely my favorite. Just the classic. Today I need to finish making the octopi that I need to make because now I have the pink. This label is like all the way to the side. I need to finish making that. Then I need to work on bees. I'm going to go work on that for a little bit. I will update you guys when I have some progress literally just started working and my stitch marker broke again they break all the time moving on to a different one now also i apologize if my hair looks a little wacky sometimes the hair just doesn't hair like it should i'm gonna get back to work i literally got this much done and then my stitch marker broke but update i did eat dinner i got this octopus done and the baby so i got these two pink octopi done now that i have the pink yarn so i think that's all the octopi that i have to do for this next upcoming market which is nice to have done i also got done this velvet bee in the dark yellow color i am almost done with the green one i don't want to like maneuver it around because it's full of poly pellets right now it's like beanbag stuffing almost if you guys can see that but they just go inside of it and they kind of give it like a beanbag feel to it and i put them in all of my little bees so i don't want to like tip that one over because it's full of them right now and i have to close it up i'm gonna be finishing that bee and working on the other i think i have to do like one more little bee i have to do like a purple one and then i'm done with the mini bees 
except I do have to make some spring colored ones so never mind um and then I have to make like two larger bees which shouldn't be terrible I still have quite a lot of mar market prep to do but I think that's going to be all for this video so thank you so much for watching I know it's my first video that's like longer but I hope you guys liked it. If you enjoyed, please like and comment and subscribe. Whatever all the YouTubers say at the end of their videos to do, please do that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. See ya!